Hello everyone, welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. My name is Sarah. Today I'm working on a very exciting opportunity. I've been asked to be part of the collaboration of A Spirit of Giving, which is just where furniture flippers are taking pieces that they have and flipping them to either sell and give the proceeds to a worthy cause and charity of their choice, or actually flipping a piece of furniture to then give to somebody who's deserving of it and maybe even in need. This collaboration challenge is hosted by Second Chance Ohana and I'll leave a link to their channel in the description along with a playlist of all the other people who took place in this challenge. For my project, I'm going to be giving the profits to a very special young couple. Russ and Amy have been married for a few years and they have decided that they are going to adopt and this is just so exciting, I'm very excited for them, but adoption is such an expensive process. And I'm thankful to be able to help out in this way as they get that process started. So sit back and enjoy this flip as I get the piece cleaned and prepped for sanding. Now I'm going in with 220 grit sandpaper and the top actually needed a lot more sanding than I was expecting. There were a lot more dings, scratches, and bubbling in the veneer than I was hoping for. And I'm going to be honest with you, I did not get it perfectly smooth. So it's confession time. I had a plan for this piece. I wanted to try the caning that you've probably seen other furniture flippers do. I wanted to add caning to the doors to kind of give it a little more fun boho feel. And I was kind of thinking of a exciting color to paint it along to go with that. However, I procrastinated like a lot and I uh, never ordered it. So now here I am and it's crunch time and I have no cane to put in the doors. And the only stuff that I could have ordered that would have gone here on time to finish this video was gonna cost me a lot of money, a lot more than I wanted to put in the piece, especially since I'm planning on giving the profits to Russ and Amy's adoption. I wanted to get as much profit as I possibly could, so that took caning out of the equation. So now what? I mean that was my whole plan and my whole design was around that caning idea. Well, I squinted and stared at this piece for quite a while the other day, really worried about what on earth I was going to do because I really didn't like the glass and I didn't want to have to leave it that way. And an idea came to me, something I already had, something I'm going to admit it's a little scary. I'm going to try some peel and stick wallpaper on those glass panels and see how we like that. This pattern is definitely nothing I've ever come close to using before. It's outside of my comfort zone, it's outside of my personal design choices, but we're going to wing it and we're going to see what it looks like. I'm going to be spraying my paint on today with my paint sprayer. I'm going to start my air compressor, get it going. It's going to make a ton of noise, so I'll wait until we're done filming. But I'm going to be painting it black. I went to Home Depot today to pick up some of their bare chalk paint line in the color Classic Noir. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, so I have a black. Hopefully it is a true, true black. And I have this wallpaper, so we're going to... We're gonna see what happens. But first I'm gonna get changed because I don't wanna be crawling around spraying paint and the stress we went out to lunch. So anyway, I'm gonna go change, 
I'm gonna get my air compressor hooked up and then I'll get to painting this piece. Two coats of paint later and I am ready to seal my piece. I have decided to seal it with wax this time and I started out with just a regular natural wax and it was kind of giving me a little bit of cloudiness so I added a little bit of my black paint to the wax to tint it a little bit and I enjoyed using it that way so the two coats that I put on are technically black wax I guess. After I had it all done, I buffed it out with a old black t-shirt that I stole from my husband and got it to a nice sheen. So I thought for a while about whether I wanted to replace the glass with wood in the back and do my wallpapering on that, but I decided it was just because I was afraid the glass was going to break and if I were doing this normally the glass would stay in it anyways so I shouldn't be scared that the glass is just going to up and break that's silly so also if this doesn't sell right away or and nobody wants it I it's really going to be easy for me to switch it back to glass uh, or change the paper there's lots of options open there for that so, I kept the glass kind of as a fail-safe. Oops. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look what I've done. Oh no, I put it on crooked. I mean sideways. It's supposed to go in this way. Oh man, I thought I was done. Oh. Alright, well. I'm not done. I gotta go redo this. Well, that's a wrap. Let me know down in the comments if I should have gone ahead and splurged on the cane or if you like this kind of funky wallpaper just as much. I'm very interested to know what you think of it. I only spent a dollar at an auction house for it, so it is a much more affordable version for sure. For the rest of the numbers on this piece, I purchased it for just under $10 and I've put almost $20 of products about into it so I, it's only been about $30 which means the rest of the money all the profit is going to be able to go to Russ and Amy and so I cannot wait to get this piece listed and get it sold for them. If this is your first time finding our channel welcome I hope you'll subscribe and stay around but I have a playlist of all the other participants in the spirit of Christmas giving challenge where other furniture flippers are going to be doing pieces and giving the profits away or giving the pieces of themselves away. So I hope that you guys will watch that and support all these amazing people who are giving back this Christmas. I'll see you guys next week with an exciting flip and until then I'm Sarah with our furniture flipping adventure. Bye!